Hello everyone, this is a tutorial video to show you how to unzip and zip up files as well as import Esri shapefiles into QGIS. I have here uh, actually a zip folder which I'm actually going to extract all the data from it and place it in the same location within a regular folder. Uh, this is because QGIS will not allow you to actually use data that's inside a zip folder. So by extracting the data we actually uncompress all the folders that are zip together and we now have access to uh, much larger data that can easily be imported into QGIS and here is just a list of all the uh, different types of files that I have within this uh, example folder. When you typically work with GIS data uh, the extracted folders that you um, extract they typically are much larger in size than their compressed uh, files and compressed uh, files typically are easier to transport around. So in case you ever want to make your own compressed file, all you have to do is simply right click on the folder and choose send to compressed zip folder. As you, as you probably just saw on the video screen, uh, the, amount, the file size for the uncompressed folder was about 5.4 megabytes, whereas this one is substantially smaller and thus easier to move around. For the purposes of this tutorial, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and delete the extra zip file I created, simply, simply because we will not need it. Now here is the main QGIS uh, interface, and all of our projected data will appear in this big open white space. Now there are two ways that we can add Esri shapefiles. The first is either through the drop down layer option and choose add vector layer. Vector layers uh, are typically points, lines, and polygons. And there's also a little quick, but quick hotkey button here on the uh, panel up here. Now, what we want to do is to ensure that we pick uh, that our source is actually a file. Uh, encoding will keep the default system. Now we have to browse to our data set. Now, in this case, you have to navigate to your folder of interest. As you can see from the drop-down menu, there are a bunch of different options that you can pick from. Of course, obviously, we are more interested in the Esri shape file, so we'll pick that. But I'll also be sure to show off um, the all files, just so you can see that um, you can actually import more than one selected thing. Also on the, uh, the little import vector uh, menu, there's also an option to import a database, which the DBF file, I believe, is something you can also import too, and you should be able to get the same result. All right, let's see what we should import first. How about states? This is a uh, polygon shape file. We simply choose that and we hit OK, and there it is. It is automatically drawn for us as the primary layer, and uh, the color scheme actually is random, as randomized each time you import something. So, and of course, the the color schemes are customizable in QGIS, which we'll cover in another tutorial. But for the time being, let's import another uh, line file, the road network. I do apologize if it's a little difficult to see, but I did not pick the color. That was all. That was all QGIS's uh, choice. And finally, let's go ahead and pick uh, the city uh, point option. And here we are. This concludes this, this uh, intro tutorial. Thank you for watching.